Hi, multi router friends. Today you're looking at the DJI Matrice 100. This is something that you normally don't find in the stores that that sell the DJI Phantoms. This is a this is a quadcopter product that they have developed for um, people who want to do. Um, customization um, customization of, of maybe the flight flight control system and or payloads and it's a pretty nice platform it it is um, a lot like the DJI inspire one in that it uses um, uses the same motors and props it does have a different flight controller it uses it does use light bridge, of course, uh, the same uh, same transmitter system for that. Uh, the batteries are similar. You can see that they're not; they don't have that curved shape on top. But it is it is a very similar battery with the similar similar connector on it. This this is a modular system that uh, you know they're they're you know putting on the market for people that just want to do uh, research and development or or a lot of customization and <clears throat> what i've done is I, i've changed it up a little bit it allows you to mount the battery bay on the top or the bottom i actually have the battery bay mounted on the top and and the reason i did that is because i wanted the bottom uh, to be open i'll show you here in a minute but this is the battery bay and you can put you can put two batteries on board and so battery just slides in like that clicks into place and it's so modular that you can you can i don't recommend it but you can put the other battery bay on top of of this module or you can put the second battery bay on the bottom they have these these nice aluminum mounting rails with uh, different mounting hole positions and that's to uh, allow you to balance the craft perfectly or or as close as possible to perfect you've got some power connectors over here um, you've got extra you've got an extra power connector on this side um, <clears throat> and you've got uh, you've got the ability to uh, plug in uh, a little a little system that they have that allows you to to put your camera uh, if you want to plug in a, a GoPro and if you want to download the uh, if you want to have live streaming um, HDMI down to your iDevice that you would have on your transmitter they have a little transmitter uh, interface module that uh, can plug in to do that that's an optional piece um, the reason I bought this was for uh, payload uh, carrying capability. That's why I have the battery mounted on the on the top. And what I'm working on now, I'm building a box, a drop box, to fit on the bottom. You can also see here uh, what you're looking at right now. That's the mount for the uh, X3 gimbal. And I have mounted my Inspire One X3 gimbal on this, and and it works beautifully. It works great. Uh, I won't have that on when I when I mount the drop box. The drop box is uh, it covers that up a little bit. It's a little bit large. It's about six inches by ten inches, um, roughly about four inches deep, um, and it'll it'll cover up most everything on the bottom. There's a little vent fan there that uh, I need to make sure that you know airflow is, is still getting to that vent fan to cool off the flight controller but yeah I'm building this as, as a as a payload carrying machine uh, a little bit bigger than than my other aircraft uh, for carrying payload and, and uh, I probably will do a, a GoPro maybe maybe I'll do a GoPro mount somewhere on the front just just extended enough to where I can uh, keep the Dropbox on and have the GoPro. <clears throat> and I, I may just go ahead and, and put a, a small 5.8 gigahertz transmitter on it somewhere so that I can use my uh, 5.8 gigahertz receiving equipment. 
which I'm used to. Um, but this is the Matrice 100 again. Um, very nice, very nice flying platform. I've flown it many, many times. Um, this does have what they refer to as the three degree um, tilt in the arms. There's a little adapter piece mounted here and over here and on the other two arms that actually tilt the arms. Let's see if you can see this. Do you see that slight tilt? That's three degrees. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you um, it's a little bit of it's a little bit of help. You can't hardly see the three degrees in that one, but it's a little bit of help in in carrying a heavy payload that that the torque the torque from the arms. I think you can see the three degrees. The torque from the arms uh, uh, to help it have good flight stability when you're carrying a heavy payload. Um, if I remember right. I think that once you have the battery on board that that I think they recommend the max the max weight carrying capability after the battery's on board is 2.5 pounds or, or somewhere around 2.5 2.6 pounds which is which is a pretty substantial amount it's not it's not a gen, ginormous amount by any means but this is not a super large machine either it is about a 650 class machine from from rotor to rotor is is right about 650 so it's it's a you know it some people may consider it large but it's really kind of a, a mid-sized machine it does have good flight characteristics um so far I, i've not carried a payload with it yet you know payload does make a huge huge difference but uh, so far this has been doing well one, one thing I'm going to experiment with, I'm going to experiment with different props. Uh, Zor has just come out with a, a bolt-on prop. And uh, the thing I like about the bolt-on prop is obviously it's bolted on. Um, these props, although extraordinarily convenient, um, there are some instances still where people are losing their props in flight and i've noticed that sometimes when you when you twist lock these on they feel like they're on and they feel like they're secure but if you give it a little a little twist as a little bit of a test all of a sudden the prop will pop off um obviously that needs to be corrected there needs to be a much more secure method of attaching these props because these are quite expensive machines and or you may be flying an expensive payload so that's something I'm gonna try uh, very soon is the new uh, the new Zor prop it's uh, it's a carbon fiber pre-balanced propeller um, but the nice thing is is it has a hole all the way through the center and you can actually double check your balance just to make sure um, so that'll be interesting to try I'll be trying that very soon and, and hopefully I'll get a flight video um, on that I'll be able to make a comparison and, and see if I feel like there's any difference or not uh, so anyway guys this is the um, Matrice 100 from DJI and uh, so far this has been a, a pretty nice machine so uh, stay tuned for uh, some flight videos coming up on this. Hopefully I get the drop box finished soon and uh, we'll get some videos up on that as well. So in the meantime, guys, be safe and uh, enjoy flying your machines.